The colorful testimony of Neville Shedd has paved the way for countless African-American athletes over time. It was 1966, and in the heat of civil rights racial tension, the Texas Western Miners made history by being the first college basketball team with an all-black starting lineup to win the NCAA championship. Shed was a part of that victory. You know, I did not have the opportunity that you have. I had to struggle to get here. The triumphant story of his basketball team echoed from El Paso newspapers of that day to Hollywood scripts, such as the 2006 blockbuster Glory Road. And they say that legends live forever. Yeah. Praise God, I think my teammates and I are walking that road to glory. <laughs> I have a dream that one day... Mm -hmm. Dr. King gave the I have a dream speech. You were just a few years away from that big championship game. You didn't realize that you were just three years away from walking on your glory road, right? Not, not, not at all. Me personally, I bought into what he was talking about. I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. Well, he didn't talk. He sang to you, you know? I also saw the suffering that he went through, and he never was hostile about this, you know? And at the age of 75, he leans on those experiences to impact the next generation. We see our athletes today, they're not really buying into what people did yesterday to get you to this opportunity today. John Coker, Kins 5, Eyewitness News.